Just don't be, don't be stupid, man. Like we don't, we're not selfish people in Georgia. You know, we don't, we don't, we don't, I mean, I'm not interested in all the shenanigans. We're meat and potatoes. We roll our sleeves up and go to work every day. I'm not, I'm not interested in you, you know, gator chomping and throat slashing. It's not respectful. I mean, I want to be respectful of the game and the people we play. And you know, I think the best way to attack somebody is beat them. Did that surprise you, Coach, when you made that gesture? I mean, he's immature. He's young. I mean, Nate's a great kid, and look, he's a super talent, and he wants to do well. He didn't do it with the intent of getting the penalty. Just, you know, got to act like you've been there and he ain't been there enough. How big was that late interception in the fourth quarter that you guys had? It was a big play. I thought the guy was wide open and uh, they had a nice play call. A little bootleg action that was a copycat play from one we had seen already this year and giving up a touchdown. And uh, the guy was open. CJ Allen made a freaky, unbelievable play to, to jump up and snag it. And that was probably the biggest you know, change in the game. Coach, there were times it felt like a home game for Georgia. What can you say about the juice the fans were able to bring? I saw your players playing up to the crowd quite a bit in those games. Well, I felt that was both ways. I mean, I don't know. I felt like every time they had we, they had momentum, they were loud against our offense, and that's the way it's supposed to be in this game. And in years recent years in the past, sometimes it hadn't been that way. And uh, you know, I don't know. I love playing in Jacksonville, but it, 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 the, the momentum swings sometimes don't feel like it gets as loud as the road or the home games because you the fifty percent. How do you prevent Carson from pressing? Obviously, <coughs> you know, how do you prevent that? I can't say I know that he's pressing. First of all, I, don't, I mean, I've mentioned that, but I don't know that. I, I think it's he wants to play well. He, he feels a burden to play well, and he's in Jacksonville. It's important to him. Um, and look, he's gotten better. He's done some really good things. Um, he just, you know, I think he's got to be willing to take check downs and what defense gives him and not force the ball a lot of times. But as to what keeps him impressed. I mean, if I knew that, I would be worth a lot more money. So you're not concerned with back-to-back games with three picks at least? That it's no, I'm not concerned with it because, I mean, what the, you, you throw the ball, that's going to happen sometimes. I mean, we, we got to try to do a good job of preventing it, but we also win the game because we can throw the ball. Right? We weren't able to run the ball down their throat in the fourth quarter. We threw the ball. And he makes checks, decisions. I mean, there's three plays in that, that, that in the last two drives that nobody knows what he did. And he, He's, he's got the elite knowledge of what's going on. He puts us in the right play, and, and the plays work when he puts us in. Well, did you, did you talk about the cash touchdown at the end? Um, that was a throw, right? <coughs> it was a great throw. It was a, I think it was an underneath you know, angle route by cash. He ran a great option route. And that's not an easy throw. Like you'd say, well, that's just a little five yard throw. Well, he's got to put touch to get it over the defensive line. He's got to put it in a position that, that cash has somebody covering. And I thought cash did a great job breaking the tackle. A uh, guy tried to grab, drag cash down, and cash. Beat and uh, did a great job. The cash is good at those routes, so is ETN. I imagine you, you have something for Dwight Phillips because of his speed, but how about the call to get him his first touch yeah. on that stage at that moment and he, he came through? That's a great job by the offensive staff. They reached out to me on Tuesday or Wednesday and said, Is Dwight going to travel? Because he hasn't traveled every game. And uh, I said, Yeah, he's going. He's, he's up now with, with the injuries at running back. He'll be a emergency running back. And they put a package in for him and he, uh, he did a great job. I mean, you talk about. Everybody on that team loves that kid, little peanut. His parents are great people. Both ran track at Kentucky. His dad's an Olympic gold medalist. And just what a great story. I've never met a kid that everybody on the team likes as much as him. And he just works really hard. So I was really happy for him to get that play. What's, uh, what's Anthony in this game with? And how did that lead you in your training game? Uh, Anthony's dealing with a little bit of a hamstring. So we're hopeful to get him back. Um, it happens late last week, so it's why we trained multiple guys to be able to return the ball. <clears throat> Malachi became the next guy, and kickoff it became cash. How do you feel like your defense fell up with those first half suspensions? The guys kind of stepping up. Whew. I think we lost somebody there <clears throat> for a few snaps to Corey, and so then we were really, you know, that's why you practice the twos and threes. It's why you develop players. Kyron had to come in and play. I, I can't say how they played. Um, I didn't think I thought we had some jitters there. I thought it was really good for KJ Bolton to get to start and play, to get some confidence and play more. He's rotated a lot, but I mean, we could have played better, I'll say that, but we survived them. What did you see from the offense on that go ahead touchdown in the fourth quarter? Yeah. After, screen play? After, well, I just mean that drive. Oh, I mean, I saw a third five that we were going to have to punt the ball back to them. If we didn't get it, that's what I saw, and I was like, here we are. You know, similar to Texas, we had, we had a bigger lead, but, you know, he steps up, he sees uh, a, a blitz, he puts everybody on the right protection, he takes a shot clock down in one second, and 
puts us in the right route, and throws a great ball, and stands in a pocket now that there ain't many people with that many people pressuring going to stand in that pocket that long and trust his protection and fire that ball. And I know, you know, a lot of guys on Sunday that, that, that don't do as much checking as he does and puts us in the right play, and that was a that was the difference in the game to get it to Arian. And then we still had to finish the drive, and he did a great job against uh, Max Blitz uh, to score the touchdown with Dom. We got time for one more question. With yeah. Nate Frazier, just how have you seen him continue to grow and mature throughout this season, especially stepping up this night, which I've heard he was clear high in season that came through. Yeah, I mean, he, he got to grow up. I mean, we've been trying to grow him up <clears throat> the whole time. It's probably me more than anything. Josh does a good job trying to get him in there. we got to show confidence in him and play because a back can't make it through this league uh, trying to do it by himself. And I thought he, you know, he did some good things tonight. He, he had a couple mistakes. I'm not talking about the penalty. He had a couple mistakes that can cost us. He has really gotten better at his protection. I'm fired up about him in protection because he is not shy of contact. But he's got to get vertical and not try to outrun everything to the sideline. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Coach.